Okay, so uh, we're going to start our discussion about uh, the Oresti symbology, uh, invented by Colonel Jose Oresti, uh, who's, uh, Count Jose Oresti, sorry, who's a colonel in the Spanish Air Force, uh, one of their longtime uh, head instructors. And he was able to uh, come up with uh, the development of a, uh, a cryptographic system that describes aerobatics to anyone in the world. And so it's a very uh, specific language uh, that uh, is not open to interpretation like the old ribbon drawings used to be. Okay, So we're going to start talking about the Oresti language, and we'll start with the basic symbol, which is uh, upright flight. We always start with a dot. We end with a line. And when it's a solid line, that means positively loaded flight. Now, we want you to start thinking differently in aerobatics because positively loaded flight does not mean upright flight necessarily. In the case of a loop, when you're around the top of the loop, you're still pulling just enough to maintain positive G on the airplane, meaning that the blood is going to your feet. Okay, So at that point, you're still positively loaded even though the airplane is inverted in relation to the horizon. Okay, Negatively loaded would be uh, what you're doing in the case of an outside loop, and the blood at that point would be going to your head. Okay, If you see a positive line, it means positively loaded flight, which means that the blood is going from your head to your feet in that portion of the maneuver. And negatively loaded flight, uh, you see uh, we've changed the symbol to a dash line. So anytime you see a dash line in the arresty symbols, it means the airplane is in a negatively loaded situation. The blood is going to the pilot's head. And what we have here is the arresty symbol for a loop. Again, we start with a dot. We end with a line. And so the way you would be going through this particular maneuver is this way and finishing uh, over here. And because it's a solid line, not dashed, that means that the pilot is under positive load or positive G throughout the maneuver. What we have here is the arresty symbol for the spin. So the line is solid initially, but as the spin has begun, you have a dashed line, which either, as I previously noted, uh, describes negatively loaded flight. And we also use the dashed line for zero load on, the partic on this particular airplane. And then when you finish the spin, you're back into positive load as you pull out. Now, th this uh, right triangle is the symbol for a spin. And when the symbol is equal on both sides of this line here, what that means is it's 360 degrees of rotation. If it was just a half rotation, it would only be on one side of the line. Here's the uh, arresty symbol for a uh, snap roll, which is basically a horizontal spin. So you start with the dot, you end with the line, you're under positive load here. But this symbol right here, which is an isosceles triangle, with equal angles at each corner instead of a right triangle. And so this is the symbol for the snap roll. The top here indicates the direction that you're going. Here's the Oresti symbol for a roll. So this is a, a co combination uh, symbol, kind of like the snap roll was, to where you have to have a line first and then you have the roll placed on the, uh, on the regular line. So a roll, any kind of a roll, whether it's a snap roll, a spin, or an aileron roll in this case, they're considered complementary symbols to where this cannot exist by itself. It has to be added to some kind of a line symbol. Now, uh, notice the arc. You fly from the dot and you finish on the line. The other way you can see direction is that you fly into the arc. Of the, uh, of the arrow here. Now, just as in the case of the snap roll, if the symbol goes from one side of the line all the way to the other side equally, that indicates 360 degrees of rotation. If it was just a half roll, it would only go from the line just to one side of the line.